Yeah, and I think now is definitely the time when young people are coming forward. I mean, I know that, like, I get emails from students every day. Carol, all of you have really forwarded me student emails, too. And, I mean, every day I get emails from students who are like, oh, my gosh, I saw Blackfish. I want to, you know, show it at my school. I mean, we have, we're we helping some students at some universities, a few universities, and one in London, one near London, uh, a couple other places in the UK, all plan school assemblies on Blackfish, on Orca Captivity, on, you know, starting Blue Freedom Clubs, getting involved. So and if like, you know that's going on, I mean, all, not, no, we're not always available to yeah. Skype in, but right. I mean, you said if that's a possibility, um, that would we, you know, if given yeah. the schedule ability, That'd I mean, awesome. we, if, that, if that helps, I mean, just if you let us know if one of us, right. I mean, we can't always do it, but, right. um, you know, we'd certainly, I, I enjoy doing that, yeah. so even if it's for five minutes. Right. So, yeah. And that makes an impact, mm -hmm. too. That would, that would be awesome. Yeah. Or Google cool. Hangout. Right. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah, so it's it's out there, and you know, you guys were a huge part of getting it out there to us, you know, to be able to access, you know, all this information is a huge part of it. Well, but in reality, a lot of things kind of came together, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, in just sort of an ideal sense, and, um, you know, Gabby had a vision for a movie that ended up being sort of a blockbuster, and at least as far as documentaries go, and, uh, and you know, we were all willing to share our stories, and so, and then people like you are kind of in the trenches doing the, the grunt work and, and so a lot of things have come together a lot of terrific people people that we'll never even hear about mm -hmm. that are working on these things and so mm -hmm. it you know it's not about us it's about uh, sort of this whole network of terrific things going on and right. a lot of people working and, and people taking chances you know um, and you know we're standing on the shoulders of people who've been involved in this for 50 years I mean Rick O'Berry he's been an activist for 50 years right. you know we've really just come on the scene recently yeah. but um, you know and, and it's helpful because we did have experience working at SeaWorld but there are people there are scientists out there there are, there are anti-captivity people who've been working on this issue for a really long time and so it just you know unfortunately because uh, because Don died you know, at SeaWorld of Orlando, it's such a public thing. This is this has brought it forward, and it's allowed us to do what we do. But but um, there was so much groundwork that was done, and you know, and, and um, if you look back in uh, in the history of the anti-captivity world, you'll see a lot of the stuff that we're seeing now. All of the stuff that we're seeing now has been said over and over again over the past fifty years. It's been out there. It's just that this this moment in time. Um, we've been able to get it out into the public in an unprecedented way, and so Gabby's movie, David's book, and then social media, you know, that, that combination of things. Right. And really, Tillicum. And yeah. yeah. I mean, who, which one of you guys time. said it? Yeah, Tillicum spoke. And For the third time. Yeah. No, yeah. Jeff. Jeff said it, yeah. It's, it's Tillicum. Tillicum finally got his message across. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, so really, you know, when you look at um, Tillicum's, Tillicum's life, it's been tragic. Um, but uh, Tillicum it has also been, I think, a, a nexus of change. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, you know, I, I don't think his life has been, uh, you know, thrown away. Right. Um, it's been tragic, but it won't have happened in vain. And mm -hmm. so, um, hopefully, you know, he, he will have affected some, <coughs> some really outstanding change. He already has. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, he didn't know it, of course. Mm -hmm. But right. Absolutely. And one interesting thing that I, I need to give Steve Jobs props because it's really been modern technology that has allowed us to be as effective as we can be. I can remember I was a medical resident at the time when this happened and us just kind of texting each other and saying, hey, I can't do this interview, can you do it? You know, kind of coordinating because uh, there, there was a vacuum created uh, in the media. People wanted more and more information. And so the fact that we were working in a coordinated fashion was only possible due to smartphone technologies and and computer records at the hospital and 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 creating a website and and now you guys are blessed with all this digital technology and the digital cameras and and this can be disseminated through vehicles like YouTube and and so this wasn't even possible in the 90s when, when we worked there because it just didn't the, the, the infrastructure to disseminate information wasn't there and SeaWorld as a big corporation just like they still basically own like the reporters in Orlando and they, they just control, you know, the, if they want something put out there it goes through Wall Street Journal or Forbes or whatever, pro-business publications, but now there's checks and balances, everyone's running around with smartphones with cameras and videos and stuff like that and you can film a dolphin biting somebody's hand and then the next day it's out on YouTube, you know, so it's really uh, the confluence of several factors including Tillicum's statement, third Thrice, thrice 
done statement of killing and then the, the, the technology and the fact for the first time ever it wasn't just an ex trainer that came forward it was an, it was four ex Sea World trainers that came forward so it wasn't like we were talking about some Marine Land or, or Laura Parquet or the Dolphinarium Hardware this was the belly of the beast coming out and the curtain's been pulled back and, and now it just can't be closed off again since you mentioned Steve Jobs, um, you know, you also get Pixar. I don't know if you guys are aware of Pixar has a follow-up movie to Finding Nemo. It's called Finding Dory. Right. And because of Blackfish, they have they have they have were pretty much finished with the film, was my understanding. I mean they were getting towards the end and somebody on the on the Finding Dory team watched Blackfish and they contacted Gabriella, who then put them in touch with Naomi Rose. And they have, they've like, the second half of the movie has been totally retooled because the initial end of the movie was that I guess there were animals that were going into a marine park at the end, something like SeaWorld, and they've changed the ending so that the animals go free. Right. Um, so, that, <laughs> so that's directly due to, uh, to, to this movement and I think specifically to Blackfish. Yeah. So that's pretty incredible. Yeah, so and think impact. about how many people that movie is going to impact. Yeah, I right. mean, that's just a whole new generation of five and six-year-olds right. who are going to see that movie. You know, that's yeah. going to be their, their movie.